from sunny Marbella. Made it all the way out. I can't actually believe I've got on a, not a train, <laughs> um, an aeroplane for the first time in about two years. I was absolutely bricking it. I'm not a great flyer anyway. Um, someone once said to me, it's like when you get on an aeroplane, you're like on a seat flying through the air and that kind of changed my mentality, made me a really nervous flyer. Anyway, we are in Porto Benus, Marbella, Spain. Um, I'm here with my friends, Megan and Dawn. Megan's here to visit her nan, who lives in a um, residential care home for the elderly. So we said, Meg, we're gonna come with you. We're gonna turn it into a girl's weekend away. There are so many poor shops here. Um, proper luxury, Yves Saint Laurent, Gucci, Caroline, Herrera. There's also lots of looky looky men and they are the guys that sell the reps. So they've got bags, belts. What else have they got? Watches. <laughs> Um, but it's gorgeous here. apartment in Marbella. Love the floor. This is the first bedroom. This is the bathroom. Loving the white and the black vibes and the marbling. How gorgeous is that shower? Double sink. Love these doors as well. There's a little toilet in there. Love the wallpaper. This is the second bedroom. Love the headboard. Oh, wow, what's this? Oh, lush. That is really, really swanky. There's a toilet in there. This is the living room. Oh, love that Chesterfield. Sofa, artwork, the wall, the table. I wish I had the creativity to replicate this at home. Big TV. Well, nice kitchenette. Very, very nice. And outside we have got a gorgeous veranda and the divine Spanish weather.
if we go into town now, yeah, and then when we come back later on, we go down to the beach for Megan to go and Nan. Okay. Yeah, and just chill. Mm. Okay. At least, at least we had a quiet night last night. <laughs> <laughs> We've both got all got raging hangovers. Yeah. You okay? Got a hangover. I <laughs> bought the first aid kit, which we raided this morning because we, well, I was broken from a really heavy night. So I like to take a diarrhea light to replace all of those important, what is it? Electrolyte salts. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is my outfit of the day. A big, flouncy um, pink dress from H&M. I just love breaking out a bit of colour on holiday. I've got my wok. Red and pink don't really go, but neither does blue. I don't really have a choice. Um, I actually look like I'm quite dirty, but it's not me. It's the mirror, which has got these kind of oil slip marks on it. Yeah, so they're very, very, um, quite strict actually about you wearing masks in shops, in restaurants, even coming in through to the hotel, into the lobby, you've got to wear a mask. <laughs> It is our last night in Mabea. It's 11.30 at night. And we're gonna head out. I don't think we're gonna bother eating. Um, have a few drinks and see where the night takes us. This is my room, comfiest bed that I've probably stayed in. We are going to the beach now and then we're going, coming back and flying off later. My beach bag. I've got to really highly recommend these um, packing cubes. They've been really good because I've shared my suitcase with the girls and it just means everything is just, you can just grab it and then bring it into your room or whatever. I've got my Longchamp bag, which is my hand luggage. I've got some crisps, um, toiletries and stuff. I wanted to show you what I bought actually. So at the airport, I picked up the Le Beige um, Chanel Medium Deep Bronzer. I I just do love a bit of Chanel. Look, I haven't even opened this. Let's have a look. Lovely velvet package. Um, I need to do this one-handed. Oh, look at that brush. Look at that brush. Right, how do you get into... Okay, I don't actually know how you get to the um, powder. <laughs> Let's figure that one out later, but I've got a nice brush. I also picked up this Vitalumia Aqua from Chanel. Really like this foundation. I wear shade 30. I think it was about five pound off this, five or six pounds off this one. And then I bought a bottle of Absolute Vodka. And if you spent over like 75 pounds, you got another five pounds off. So that definitely worked out and then in terms of what i bought here i'm actually having a bit of buyer's remorse because this is from a looky looky man i quite like this i feel like it's a little bit different but then it reminds me of my mother-in-law's sofa it's kind of a bit it's got yeah i don't know it's like an old style kind of cushiony yeah i'm not sure why i bought it the guy wanted 50 euros i was like no i'm just gonna give you 20 and then he got me up to 25 so um yeah Loewe I don't even know if they do this kind of bag don't really care um don't know if I'll keep it but I kind of liked it at the time it was day one we got here and it was just like 
I was high on just being abroad, so. And then I bought this for little Cleo. She loves bags like me. I love all the sequins. I just thought it was a really fun little thing that I could bring home for her. And um, she put all her little toys and her knickknacks in there and she'll carry it around, put it on the back of her little play buggy. But um, I think the guy wanted 20 euros and I was like, nah. I only want to pay 10 and then he got me up to 15 so I thought that was actually probably quite good. I got this recently and um, really like it. I probably have too much makeup in there. I've had to put my brushes in in here because it wouldn't fit but it's quite good because it's quite an open style um, cosmetic case. This bag has been really handy actually for coming away. I've put my earrings um, and my charger in here just keeping them safe and I know where they are so I've got a bit of a monogram moment here yes just, just the reference number. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I figured it out <laughs> hooray so that's medium deep I have yet to try it out but duh stupid anyway there you go mm. How are you? Very good, you good? I like your bags. Yeah, good. <laughs> very good price for you today. Wow. Vision is loving. Vision is little. I have long extra inside. 